Hi, I'm Sally of Sally Daily Designs, and I'm very excited to introduce uh, my life coach and friend, Kate McGovern. Hi, Kate. Sally, so good to be with you today. <laughs> Great to be with you too, Kate. Kate has been uh, a life coach of mine for several years now, and while she transforms people, I um, greatly wanted to give back to Kate. And so I kept saying, how can I help you, Kate? And she said, you can help me with this room. Yes. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Kate to kind of tell you what her inspiration was or why and what she was hoping to accomplish. Absolutely, thanks Sally. Well, I really wanted to accomplish this um, sunroom or hearth room, whatever you wanted to call it, into something that had freedom and life and transformation and that's, as a coach, what I love to bring to women's lives. And so, in the process of this, I saw that Sally was actually doing this 99.95 redo your room. And I'm like, oh, this is great. I have a project for Sally. I'm going to give her a call. And so we began to endeavor to bring transformation to this room. And, and in the process, I really wanted to be able to have a place where my clients can come in a really safe, comfortable setting that they can be coached in. And so with Sally's um, designs and her creativity and her knowledge of decorating, it's just, just over the top. And this room is more than I could ever ask for. So Sally, I can't even thank you enough. Thank you so much. It's amazing. <laughs> So with that, we're going to start with some before pictures of what the space looked like. Uh, I will be talking while you're viewing what was not working for Kate in the room. After she uh, answered my questionnaire, uh, we found out, I, I really tried to work with existing furniture if I could. In this case, it didn't work. And I will explain that. As you can see here in Kate's before picture of this room, the current furniture layout as it was was not conducive to conversation. It was linear, so people had to sit next to one another to really talk. Everything is a shade of brown from the floor on up to the top of the, the wall at the ceiling. This room, however, is full of good bones. When you look around, it's got gorgeous vistas out of big, beautiful, full expanses of glass windows. It's got this gorgeous fireplace and a very sacred opening, a window above it that makes it very special and takes your eye up to that beautiful peak. And the thing that is really stabilizing the best about this room, but that is not being utilized, it's symmetry. It is very balanced. If you divide that down the point through the center of that fireplace, this room has equal proportions and that is very settling to people and calming but yet our furniture arrangement is not suggesting that. And last of all, talking about the, the brown walls going up to the ceiling, we've got two ceiling peaks and we've got two square walls flanking these and it just, it looked unfinished to me with that brown wall just going up to no crown molding, nothing architectural up there. So I thought it would be lovely with the skylights in this room and these big expanses of window to find a point on the windows flanking the fireplace that made sense to draw a straight horizontal line and bring that ceiling down, grounding the whole thing and yet lifting the lid off the box. We struck a line with the one horizontal bar in the window, it encircled the room and we painted the ceiling white all the way down to it and it really was effective. It literally took and lifted the ceiling off to the sky. As you can see, after 72 hours pass, we have transformed this room. We started with the catalyst being a glorious hand-painted piece. I painted this piece for Kate's room, and that was our liftoff point. That set the tone for the color accents we were gonna use in the room in color-blocked areas. So from that painting down, we brought the bold expanses of color to beautiful, vibrant lap throws. And then we also kind of accented with secondary colors. We did these wonderful shutters instead of window treatments. And we hung them at an angle, so it almost gave you the feeling of arms open, welcoming you into this space. And to mirror that, we found sleek, 
sectional pieces in an off-white leather that were very low slung so you could see the gorgeousness outside these windows and they were very comforting in just their neutrality but also we placed them in the same funneled position and purposely chose open ends facing into the room without arms so that it becomes chaise lounges it can actually seat more people comfortably when you have a crowd and it also is again the open arms welcoming you into this space we finished it off with a round drum rustic table for a, a cocktail table again round keeping the circle flowing the conversation moving circular we found two wonderful wood chairs that had simple canvas back and seat cushions and we outfitted those with two little leather poofs finished off with an organic element of a couple of complimentary tables and our big chest over in the corner I think you'll find this place has come alive with beautiful lighting during the daytime, beautiful lighting by night, and our color pops bring a, a, just a rush of good feeling. Well, I'm just thrilled that you gave me the opportunity. Um, just a week ago, this was a brown box. Absolutely. And honestly, it was a joy designing for you, but you made it happen because you went out and Put it all into action it was just a joy so coming in here and getting to enjoy this with you right now is a blessing well sally i have to tell you you rolled out the plan and it's easy when you have a plan something to follow you have the pieces that you knew that would bring life to this room where before it was something i walked past and just like i got to change this room and i love everything about it all the colors the beauty it just just came alive for us both Thank Tom you and I just say. love it. I know, and remember we were a little afraid at first. Yeah, we were a little before. afraid of the low furniture. Very much so. Um, but you had a leap of faith, and that's all it took. Uh, and knowing that, you know, everything can go back. Yeah. Nothing has to be permanent. Right. Uh, and that's what I urge all of you to do. So, Kate, this is a wrap. We've enjoyed having awesome. you witness Kate's gorgeous sacred room. And I urge you to go to Sally Daily designs.com and go under the tab work with me and this fabulousness can be yours too. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> Sally. Love it. Love you Kate. Take care. Please show me love by liking and sharing this video and subscribe to my channel. Visit Sally Daily Designs. Click on the newsletter tab to receive my artistic design tips and DIY ideas for you that are only shared via the newsletter. Until next time, thank you.